Hello everyone, Xo97 here. Today I got a quick and simple tutorial about scrolling text in computer craft. So um, let's get started. First of all, you can see here an example. This one is scrolling from left to right. Um, as it's a small word, um, you can scroll it left to right, it's good, but for sentences or uh, longer words, it's better to scroll it from right to left so you can read it. So that's my second example right here. So in industries, we make the future. So I'm gonna show you the programs. So first of all, uh, the thing you wanna know is to end these programs because they're gonna loop forever. You hold Control and T and it's gonna terminate it. Um, I also made a small program made called Reset and it resets the screen. So um, I'm going to show you the program first. So edit in this computer is called text up. All right. So this is the program. It's not too big. Um, I'm going to go over every line so you can do it by yourself. So I'm going to place a brand new computer right here. Um, so first of all, uh, to create a program, you type edit and then the name of the program you want. We're going to uh, call it Xoid. Alright, so um, in the program we're gonna need a variable which is gonna be, uh, we're gonna call it pause for position and that's gonna tell um, where to write our word on the screen. So to do that we write local pause equals 18 and then um, since we're gonna we're gonna want, oh, and to save it's control and then save. We're gonna want to do things on this uh, advanced monitor and by the way I'm using uh, advanced computer but you just don't need to have an advanced computer it's only like the colors and um, it's a bit better but since we're gonna have uh, we're gonna want to change things on this monitor we're gonna have to name it so to do that we're gonna name it mon for monitor equals and then peripheral that warp a wrap I mean and since it's on the right we're gonna type right like this so from now on when when we whenever we write mon it's gonna show it's gonna act on this one and then um, next step we're gonna do just in case there are any remaining of an older program on the screen we're gonna clear the screen so mon dot clear like this and then the two following steps are only available for the advanced monitor because they're uh, there's colors so we're gonna set by the way the capitals that I write are important background color and 32 is lime green 64 is pink and there's all the colors on the computer craft wiki um, and then mom text color and black it's uh, 32768 I believe and then mon what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna set the text scale and uh, from now on it's available on er any computer text scale to 5 that is the maximum uh, the maximum size we can have and it fits perfectly on on the screen all right um, yeah, and now I'm going to explain why the position is at 18. Um, basically, there's two position per screen, so one, two, and then three is going on the second one. Um, the maximum width of a monitor is eight, so that means that uh, on the 16th position, the word is going to be here. And what we want to do, we want the word to start off the monitor. So it's 17 to be completely off and then 18 just to make a little buffer. So that's why I, the starting position is going to be 18. Now um, we're going to do the actual loop. So to do that we're going to type while true do. And what is going to be in that loop is going to go on forever because nowhere in the program we're going to set true to false. Um, yeah. So, and as I said, to terminate it, you hold Control T. Very important if you don't want to break the computer every time. All right, first 
of all what what we're going to do in the loop we're going to tell it that if the word is completely off the screen to go back to the 8 18 uh, position uh, so what we're going to do we're going to tap type if pause equal um, and then that's where you customize it for for yourself if your word is small um, you're gonna write a small number like this and you can always try the program and set it back uh, later um, to Xoid Industries I set it to minus 26 um, so I'm gonna just finish writing this um, if that is the case pause is gonna be equal to 18 so it goes back if um, it's at the end all right. Now, next step. Um, I'm just gonna explain this quickly. Um, so that means that when the position is gonna be minus 26, it's gonna be way off. Um, it's gonna start again. Now, um, for Xoid Industries, let's run it again. Um, text up. Um, minus 26 is too much. Like I don't need all that much space, but um, what it's gonna do is gonna uh, like wait in between each loop so I think it's a cool effect so it's not like always scroll scrolling um, yeah so uh, that's why like you can put too much uh, here and it's it's not gonna it doesn't matter if it's too small so it's if it's only minus six for example the word is still gonna be visible on the screen when it gets back so that you don't you don't want that Right, moving on. Here um, we're gonna write the actual word. So mon dot clear. So that's is gonna remove the the last time we wrote on the screen. Um, we're gonna wrote mon dot set cursor pause the position of the cursor to pause one. So that are the coordinates. So on the first example I show you with zone ninety seven, it was pause and to the position and now we're gonna obviously write what we want so it was Xoid Industries like so and then our position is gonna be equal to position minus one so that's gonna decrease the position from one each time now if we let the program run like this it's gonna be way too quick so in between each loop we're gonna type os.sleep for 0.15 seconds so that's basically the FPS you want you can put it a little bit quicker or slower depending of um, on the screen the speed you want the word to go and finally we're gonna end the while loop like this Oops. And save that. We're gonna run it to see if it works. Oh, all right. I found my mistake quickly. It's not peripheral. Obviously, it's peripheral. I made a spelling mistake. Oh, let's run it. And there we go. So it industries on the lime background. And as I said, to close it. Control T. Now, uh, thing you. Uh, you might want to know if you get too far away from this this screen, they're gonna reset. So if you want them to, uh, if you don't want to start again the program, you might want to make a chunk loader, chunk loader right here. So I, I never made one because I don't care. And yeah, and I'm gonna show you finally my reset program. So that's it. We're just putting everything back to the default. And yeah. Here it's left because the monitor is on the left. But on the uh, if I was to uh, run the reset program on the left mon on the left computer here, I would put right here instead of left. So yeah, I'm gonna run it. And uh, thanks for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoy, and then don't forget to subscribe. So 97, peace out.